your first thoughts when this whole deal came together? Well, I think it came together very quickly. Um, and I was, uh, I was just getting on a plane when Artie let me know, and uh, it was a fun plane ride. But I think the first thoughts are uh, it, it, it's, you're almost giddy because you have the, the, the type player that, that not only every manager or every teammate, every fan uh, dreams of having play in their city. And uh, I think we're happy for the whole organization, happy for, the, for uh, Southern California that they're going to be able to experience one of the best players of our generation uh, here in, in uh, Anaheim Stadium. Played for a manager. Oh, was, was especially when you have this guy right here. No, no, he's, hey, Tori, I got to talk to you. You're hitting eighth now. That's uh, fine, that's fine. <laughs> as long as we got, we got a chance to win. Hey. You guys really can't have too much talent. Well, we're a deeper team. Uh, you know, we, we know we have uh, a lot of work ahead of us on the field, but I think we're all very, um, I think we're all very excited about just getting a spring training, getting on the field, and starting putting the pieces together. The chemistry just between the guys that you've had out here already, this just seems like a perfect fit with everybody else, especially that guy that just came by here. Oh, you're not kidding. Uh, there's no problem with chemistry on our team, but but uh, on the field chemistry is what's important, how that, that, that interaction is with players while they're playing a game. And that's what we really need to foster, and that hopefully is, is what you try to accomplish in spring training. This came a little early for you this year. Huh? Oh, a little early is fine with me. We can we can move right to spring training. We're okay. Thanks so much for joining us on the special edition of Playing the Field. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here today at the Big A, and of course you'll know there was some very big news here this week. The Angels got an early Christmas gift and already bought the biggest one available. His name is Albert. This uh, next gentleman really doesn't need an introduction. I know. Um, the decision that the Pujols family had to make an extremely difficult one. After 11 seasons in one of the best baseball cities in Major League Baseball, St. Louis, Albert made the decision to come to Southern California and don the Angels red. Eleven years with the Cardinals, a 328 average, 445 home runs, 1,329 runs batted in. Three-time National League Most Valuable Player, nine-time All-Star, couple of gold gloves thrown in. Greatest hitter of our generation, iconic is the word that Jerry Depoto used a couple of days ago. Number five for your Angels, Albert Pujols. <laughs> Obviously, it's a really excited day for the Angels organization. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Mr. Moreno and his family for uh, giving me the opportunity and welcoming me into the Angels family. I mean, I'm, it's, uh, it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, I want to thank Jerry, John for uh, obviously the hard work uh, that they put in to make this happen. So thank you so much. Um, to my teammates, my new teammates, uh, thank you for the test message. Um, I'm looking forward uh, for spring training, spending time with the uh, Tori and uh, Jeff. I mean Weaver, uh, Dan. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited. Uh, and to you guys, the fans, obviously, uh, you know the last 24 hours, uh, you know it's been uh, awesome. You know, you guys welcome me. And, and my family, and uh, we're just really excited, and I can't wait, uh, you know, to try to go out there and do my best like I did in the city of San Luis for 11 years. And touch that, uh, obviously, you know, what I had learned my 11 years in the big leagues, uh, you know, and what the fans in San Luis have taught me, uh, I promise you that's what I'm going to try to bring here in the field and off the field. So. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to play in front of you guys. Thank you. 
Albert, I, I know a lot goes into the decision when you move to another team, but when you looked at this roster, how much did that work into your decision? Well, it's, uh, it was uh, pretty obvious. You know, you have uh, before they asked CJ, uh, you know, I made my decision before they asked CJ um, into our, our team, and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And uh, we're going to have a great ball club. Uh, I just was done saying it early. We we still had to go out there and, and take care of business and, uh, you know, and, and perform. We all professional, and uh, and we see where we are after 162 gang, and hopefully it's in the postseason. I asked Tori Hunter where he was when he heard the news, and he said he was jumping up and down in his gym. I know he's going to be very excited to play with you. Well, I am too. Tori, I know Tori for now is for 10 years playing against him, have the opportunity to be in different events with him. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward. He's, uh, he's a great, great man. and. Uh, always treat me with respect and um, even when I was a rookie and that's something that, that you never forget so I'm really excited not just to play with him but different guys like Bobby Abreu and, and Herring you know that we played together in St. Louis and and we were you know I got the opportunity when we were in 06 in the World City to meet him and uh, the success that he got Santana I mean it's gonna be exciting um, you know looking forward uh, for spring training to meet to meet the rest of the of the squad that's right. And in addition to bringing in Albert, Artie went out and bought the best arm available. His name is C.J. Wilson. Why don't you talk about you know, being able to go to different teams? Obviously, you know, players get traded all the time. Just talk about the makeup of this roster and what kind of went through your head. Well, you know, the thing is, like, you don't really have a choice in a lot of times. Right. And, and this was the first time I've ever had a choice in where I was going to play since, you know, since signing in college um, to, or signing to go to college. So... I mean, knowing the guys and meeting the guys, you know, you develop that sort of uh, camaraderie across across the dugouts, you know, as you're looking over there. And like Tory Hunter and I have had kind of some some battles over the years, and he's hit a home run off me, and I've, you know, struck him out a couple times. And you know, it's 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 fun, and and so knowing those guys and having them actually reach out to me during the process was a really big thing for me to to join these guys. Do you feel like the chemistry is going to really come together for you and Albert joining the rest of the team? It always helps when you're going in with somebody else at the same time, you know, when you're the when you're the only guy in freshman the only freshman in class, it gets a little weird, you know, but um, Albert is such a personable guy and he's obviously extremely focused, but he's good at everything he does and it's a great guy to be around. So hopefully I can stream off that a little bit and um, it makes it a little bit less pressure for me, I guess, in a lot of ways because I mean, he's the guy, you know, so um, but I think the fans are excited to have a pitcher and a hitter coming in at the same time. I was going to say, you're, you're coming into a pretty good starting rotation anyway, so that's exciting for you as well. Well, it's great, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the talent that those guys have and the consistency that they've exhibited over the last couple of years is extreme. And, you know, uh, being a part of that, hopefully being recognized in that, in that class of guys is, is going to be, you know, it's going to be really cool for me and, and cool for all my friends that are going to be wearing my jerseys now. Yeah, you'll cute. sell a few more Angel tickets for them, won't you, just with your friends and family here? Friends and family is huge. I mean, like, we, we have to turn a lot of people down um, out of my friends because, you know, everybody always wants tickets and stuff. So, But being a starting pitcher, you know when you're going to play. So the last couple of years I would come in and I would, like, buy a suite or something like that and would have 20 people and have 50 people that wanted to go. But, you know, my grandma's here and uh, my brother's here, obviously, and, and a lot of my family's here. My dad's going to move back here. So it's going to be really neat. I'm, I'm really happy to be uh, to be an angel. I'm really happy to be, you know, back in Southern California. And one very excited member of the Anaheim Angels came all the way out from Dallas, that's right, to meet his two new teammates. How were you when you heard the news? Oh, <laughs> when I heard the news, I was actually working out in uh, API in Frisco, Athletics Performance Institute with Latrell Hawkins and Joe Hammerham with the closer with the powers and, and I was in between stability lifts so I was holding myself up, like somebody was holding my feet and I'm holding myself up and they said, man, we just signed pool holes and I fell over. <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious? They showed me and I just ran around the whole complex. Like we got pool holes like a kid in a candy store. I was happy. And ticket sales have been through the roof since the two newest members of the Angels arrived and their fans came out today to welcome them to the Angel family. This is a pretty exciting day for Angel fans. Tell me where you were when you found out. Well, you won't believe this. I was actually on a JetBlue plane flying over St. Louis, coming from Washington, D.C., out here for spend a couple days with my girlfriend and my dad. And uh, just I couldn't believe it. ESPN was showing the, uh, the sources say kind of thing, and it was just an amazing thing. Now, what were your feelings about him leaving St. Louis to come to Anaheim? Well, um, I mean, it's a big deal, obviously, for St. Louis. St. Louis is such a great uh, baseball city, but they're trying to do something here to make the Angels known, better known, and I think it's just a great thing. Are you 
surprised to see so many fans out here today? No, I'm not, actually. I think they did a nice job of letting folks know that this was going to be happening here, and I think it's just an exciting moment for the Angels, and it makes a lot of sense that uh, people would come out to find out more about it today. And C.J. Wilson's a nice bonus, isn't it? Oh, absolutely a nice bonus. If you think about coming from the Rangers especially, so he's a guy that gave us trouble in the past, and now he's going to be fighting for us instead of against us. It's always a better way to go, right? Yes, absolutely. And that will do it from the Big A. A lot of exciting news, and we'll see you in spring training. I'm Maria Sorreo. Thank you.